with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Old school versus new school. Power and ISO versus pitch and catch and get the guys out in space. These two teams have contrasting philosophy. One team loves time of possession. The other team could care less about it. Who establishes the tempo it wants could go a long way toward determining who wins. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Robertson Stadium and the battlefield for this game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Cohen is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. McCall from the six tries to get around the corner. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. Houston's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Perfect. Brad, over the weeks I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Looking for his man, incomplete. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Quickly to the tight end. And he's tackled at the 47. And a pickup of about seven. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Passes. Tight end's got another one. They pick up two yards on the play action pass. Gaddis is the putter. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 28. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. on the run and they make the stop around the 28 yard line that makes it second, and ten. second down 10 yards to go ball on the 28 yard line complete he's got room he's taken down around the 38 yard line had a gain of 10 yards that'll make it 31. At about the 35. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Palmer awaiting the return. He's got the corner. Palmer fields at the 29. And he just got stood up right there. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. 
The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Caught with room to work. Tackle at the 47-yard line. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. On the throw, incomplete pass. From the 47-yard line, second down. complete he's got room to work he steps out at about the 43 yard line that makes it 37 throws incomplete intended for his wide outs he was a little erratic on that pass but there's no denying that he can really hum it in there He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. They bring the quarterback down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. And he throws right away. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 45. Throws out on the screen, incomplete. the 40. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. From the 40-yard line, first down. Get to that quickly. And down he goes at the 36. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. I got one, I got one, I got one. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. And two minutes. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 22. side and there's nothing going there and this play is number eight on the drive and he just gets rid of it From the 26-yard line, third down. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 9-yard line. 
That makes it first and goal. Tenth play of the drive. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Throws quickly back to the tight edge. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kansas is looking to go up by three. It's up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 30. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws and it's incomplete. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Throws and a man wide open and he missed him. Man in the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Roger, Roger. New Mike 52, Mike 52. A little toss across the middle. Brought down around the 34 yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it fourth and six. Morris, the return man. Morris takes it at the 32, gets to about the 44-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Kansas is up by three. Nice run there as they work the outside. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. Short gain there by the halfback for the first down. Well, the defense closed in on him pretty quickly, but not before he picked up just enough yards for the first. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. And they push him out right around the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. He's hit and taken down. 
Lots picks up around five yards with that catch. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five. There's a strike complete, and he's immediately tackled. That makes it second and ten. Yeah, let's go sack lunch. Mike 50, Mike 50. Kansas holds a field goal lead. Red two, red. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. No, this is the eighth play of this drive. Gets rid of it quickly. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He throws a dart to the left. Caught end zone for the touchdown. the extra point. A nice nine play, 57 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Cohen gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 30 yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Well, you know, the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Here we go. <laughs> and it's almost picked off. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he throws it away. So that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He's taken down at the 46. Jayhawks are sitting pretty now after getting out of that slow start at the beginning. Yeah, things were a little sluggish early, but my gosh, these last few series, they just seem to be, at this point, just kind of setting a tone and kind of having their way against this defense. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. To review, review the play, play. The, ruling the ruling on the field, field is reversed. reversed. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Tackled at the 42. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Fires it out. 
And they make the stop at the 32 yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 32. Throws a bullet. Morris is the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 31. Harris picks up a yard on the scramble. The Jayhawks taking their first time out of the half. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. Fourth and long here after the sack. Collins awaits the snap. zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. Both sides have made their way back out and we're just about set to get going again. He makes his way to about the 28. So at the end of the half, the Jayhawks lead 10-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Are they stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. communication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Second and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. And 
body's hit before it can go anywhere. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. At the 40-yard line. Eight yards. That'll make it 35. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. Palmer is back deep to return. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Release tight end incomplete. Meaning the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 42. Get to that quickly. Tackle made at midfield. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. It's a short kick. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Decent pickup. Rodgers picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled around the 40 yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Tackles him hard at the 49. That brings him second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He makes it to the 48 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. First down. Right here, right here. March 50, March 50, March 50. Two. 
And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 49-yard line. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Green, no. Easy, easy. Flare. Quick throw, and down he goes at the 33-yard line. Ball again at 16 yards. First down. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Just throws this one away. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They simply have too much speed for this offensive line. They're just too quick off the ball. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Caught first down and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Tenth play of the drive. Mike six. Mike six. Here we go. Here we go. I got you in the I got you in the One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. 10-0, Kansas. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He's scrambling. No one open, so he's going to run. Dives and he's down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Cohen looks ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 25. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's to the 40. Brought down the 48-yard line. It's very disappointing for this team to be down by over three possessions. But at the same time, I just think right now they're showing a lot of character and playing for pride and continuing to play until the final whistle blows. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. 
That makes it second and ten. ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 48. Right around the 40. That's a game on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down around the 29 yard line. before he stepped out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 17. Three down, three down. Hey, watch number five, number five, Yo, number five. five. No, 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 check that. Check that. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's going to try and scramble. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Here they come. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. converts the extra point. He's taken down at the 41. Yeah, it's been kind of a nightmare for this offensive line. Good pass rush by these guys today. with all the pass protection issues, they still have the lead. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Hands it off. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Call a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 29. Less than three minutes in the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. From the 18-yard line, first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Rodgers picks up five with the carry. The Cougars call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Hey, kill, 
kill, kill. And now he's got room to run. Nice run there. Harris picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. Houston will use their final timeout. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's taken down at the eight-yard line. Kicks up, and he got it. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. On the hunt for some action in Huntington. And for UTSA, they've now come up short five straight times. And for Pittman, he hit the 200-yard mark passing. Marshall gets the W, 28-24. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. He's tackled at the 23. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start, start offense. offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still, Still second, second down. down. So it's second down and long now after the penalty. My 52, my 52. Under a minute left. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled at about the 19-yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. You just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. And they'll fail on fourth down. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 20 to 7, Jayhawks. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.